Hi, my name is Kaylin, and I'm going to talk to you about my BRCA journey. I would really like to be someone who you can ask questions about. I'm an open book about anything about my journey. I've had a double mastectomy and reconstruction with nipple sparing and lymph nodes removal. I have done a da Vinci laparoscopic robotic hysterectomy, a complete one. I'm kind of like the bionic woman. Um, I'm on synthetic hormones. I'm, I, got, I have a lot of life experiences that I would be happy to share with you and answer questions that I wish someone would have been a resource for me. Um, my aunt, my mother's mother, had ovarian cancer and she had battled from the age of 31 and when ovarian cancer ended up taking her life at 34. Um, there's a lot of cancer history in my family. So our family, especially on my mother's side, became very alert and did some research and ended up getting my mother BRCA tested after having a growth and a cyst and a tumor on her ovaries. So after she had a mastectomy, or sorry, a hysterectomy, we started to do some genetic research and testing. My mother tested positive for BRCA1, and um, I tested positive when I was 20, 29 years old and pregnant with my daughter. Um, and she was my first, and we wanted to have more than one child, so I had to do some family planning. I just had to kind of kick it into being proactive versus reactive. Um, I was excited, that sounds strange, like anxious and scared, and but excited that I could use this knowledge as power to safely plan for my family and to dramatically reduce my risk of cancer. My genetic testing, I'm BRCA1 positive, uh, told me that I had an 87% risk of getting breast cancer and a 44% risk of getting ovarian cancer. So I decided to use my knowledge as power and be proactive versus reactive. Um, it was kind of daunting that at 29 years old, I was going to think about having a double mastectomy and a hysterectomy, um, but I'm a year and a half out. I survived, I actually feel great, and the peace of mind is amazing. So this is the first of a few um, videos I would like to make to help people in my situation or if you have families or friends that are going through this or who you'd like to encourage to get tested for BRCA. Um, I would encourage you to ask questions, um, subscribe to my channel, and I would love to be a resource for you. And also promise you that it, although it's a little intimidating and a little scary, that you can do it and um, everything will be fine. Right before my mastectomy, which is the one I had first, I was terrified and I was up YouTubing in the middle of the night and saw these horrendous stories of women going through all these things. And in reality, it's tough. It's uh, It's been a journey, but with proper planning and help and a positive attitude, you are going to be fine. And the peace of mind is priceless. So um, comment below if you have questions. Things to come are surgery prep. Um, recovery time, a lot of research more about BRCA1 and BRCA2. Um, I'm going to be talking about the surgeries themselves, way to find resources like Hister Sisters, um, finding great surgeons, um, preparing for a family if you don't have one and you would like a family but you want to be proactive about getting this done. So um, I'm excited to start this journey with you. I hope that you'll take it with me or share this video with someone who's going through this or might need a positive um, side of what's going on in their life due to this genetic testing. So subscribe, comment, I would be happy to help and look for more videos to come. Thanks, I hope this helped.